Well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another, you know. It's, 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 it's very hard to live up to an image, I'll put it that way. Welcome back to Caffeinated by Elvis, where in today's video, we are taking a look at Elvis's album, Blue Hawaii by Wax Time Records in a blue vinyl. So as you can see here, the front of the album is the original album cover with Elvis in the ukulele, stereo with 14 tracks, Elvis in big letters, the name of the film, Blue Hawaii, and again, the 14 soundtrack songs. Going over to the back of the album, we're going to see Elvis in Blue Hawaii once again with a theater strip of some of the film shots, as well as some posters, a single look, a shot from the album, some more promo, another photo shoot from the album, and an alternate from the same photo shoot from Elvis on the front of the cover. On the back here, you're going to go ahead and see some information about Elvis at this time and about the film itself. Moving over to the right side, you're going to see the listings for each side of the vinyl album. And then under that, you're going to see Elvis on vocals and guitar, plus the rest of the band. So as you will notice, Elvis has two of the Blue Moon Boys on here with Scotty Moore and DJ Fontana. While DJ Fontana wasn't one of the original Blue Moon Boys, he was Elvis's first drummer and is featured on all of those RCA session work. So you can go ahead and see that along with the other players here. And now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the actual insert of the album. So the album is going to come in a white paper sleeve with some cellophane look to protect the label inside. And on the back of the album, it is the same. There is no design on this label. It is just simply a white sleeve. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way and take a look at the actual vinyl itself. So as you can see here, Elvis Presley, Blue Hawaii in the film's logo colors, along with a very clear indicator of side two versus side one. Obviously the label here, Wax Time in color. And as you can see, this is a semi-translucent but mostly not vinyl of Elvis Presley's Blue Hawaii in a very crisp blue color. It's a very strong vinyl, probably 120 gram vinyl, not quite 180 but very sturdy nonetheless, much sturdier than any of the original albums. So in terms of sound, this album sounds fantastic. The second I hit play on this album and I turned my speaker up, it was Great. The production and the mastering is great. It's obviously the original master just re-released, but on this nice vinyl and on our systems today for sound, it sounds terrific and it's a very enjoyable listen. And it's not a super long record with each song clocking in at under three minutes for most of them. However, you do see a lot of great tracks on here with the longest track being Can't Help Falling In Love, which is the most known track from this album clocking in at three minutes and one second. So I would go ahead and encourage all of you if you wanted to go ahead and get this album that it is definitely worth it and you can find it on Amazon for a good price of under $30. So you can go ahead and add that to your Elvis collection. It is a much cheaper alternative than going ahead and buying an Elvis follow that dream release that contains outtracks in a double vinyl with the advantage being price and not having to switch the vinyl side every few minutes given the fact that how short these tracks are so that wraps things up for me here in this video let me know if you guys were able to go ahead and get this album and what your favorite song is from this soundtrack thank you guys for watching and until we meet again may god bless you adios